our first class video. This is lecture zero because otherwise we would end on lecture 13 and that's really as deep as it goes. There's no more profound reason than that. Um, you can probably look in the title. I'm going to put how many videos it is. I doubt it's going to actually need five videos to cover this one. So you can see how many videos you need to watch before you're ready for the discussion board. It doesn't bother me if it's not actually five videos for the full 50 minutes because I feel like if a teacher covers what they meant to, then let the class go. You don't have to drag things out with fluff. That just bugs me. Okay, so let's start the official presentation. This first one is just an introduction to consulting and a little bit about me. Um, there's me and my wife and my four kids. They're a little bit older than they are in that picture. We love Marvel movies. My wife has a canoe. I was in Wyoming for the last couple of years and the weather is distinctly different. You could say better. Love playing board games. I have a wonderful, beautiful cat. I also have a dog. Um, Brandon Sanderson books. I served a church mission in Brazil. My kids love playing Minecraft. In my spare time, I do murder mystery parties. So these are all a bunch of different topics. If you want something not statistical to talk about, there's, there's topics for you. All right. Uh, let's start with our first discussion board question. Talk about how do you like class? Some of you are going to say, boy, I wish this was an in-person class. This over the summer is, of course, online, but it's okay to say that that's what you like. Do you like talking with other students? Some of you are like, no, leave me alone. I like it online. That's cool. For your first question, tell me what your ideal class is like. I may not be able to provide it, but it's, it's just nice to be able to talk about the ideal class, whether or not you feel like that's the way things are, especially with the pandemic, things probably have not been the way that you would wish, but um, there's your first discussion board question. The next is, tell me what would statistical consulting be? If we were in class, I would like start pointing out people and they would give answers. And no matter what answer you give, it's probably partly true and partly not true because, I mean, it really depends on so much. So for this lesson, I want to talk about the different ideas of what it means to be a statistical consultant. And these are some ideas that people have put together as part of being a data scientist. We're going to talk later about what the definition of that means, but here are a whole bunch of skills that you're going to need. Like here's the statistics stuff, you know, knowing your packages, your math, experimental design. Sure, that stuff makes sense. But asking good questions, being able to act on it, translating what you're doing, this blue stuff is more of what this class is going to focus on. And they are very much an important part of what it means to do good statistics. And then, of course, you got computer science stuff and the ability to do what's needed there. And we'll talk about different jobs and how their expectations on that computer side might differ. There's a bunch of different ideas on how to draw this. Okay. Um, there's statistics, but communicating, research, cleaning the data, getting the data, mining, exploring, these are all ideas of what you're going to need to do as a consultant, as a statistician, or as a data scientist. Use whatever words you want. What kind of skills do we need? Here's a list, and there's four different jobs. We're actually going to talk about each of these jobs in a little more detail, probably not in this video. But number one, communication, the ability to explain what you're doing to someone and to explain what your statistics mean and what it implies. So do we need, you know, Bayesian statistics? Maybe if you're in a specific field, do you need communication? Absolutely, yes. Here's another way of, you know, the basic exploratory data now, not the complex advanced statistics, it's the basic stuff. And then can you conduct the data and talk about the research and clean the data and feature extraction? Notice how many of these aren't necessarily advanced statistical methods, but the ability to work with people and to help them understand teaching and training right over there. Here's collaboration. You probably in the other classes have talked a lot about this statistical expertise, but the other half is the ability to work with the client. What do they need? Can you help them find the solutions? These sorts of things. Uh, data, knowledge, understanding. This is a loop. It's a common loop in research. And where do people think statistics is? Uh, probably here with the data, right? But actual statistics, a lot is before they even get data, when they're starting to ask the question, how do you help them to formulate what data they're going to need, how to get it in non-biased ways, or sometimes just how to get the data in such a way that it helps you get the best answers. That's the design of experiments class. But a lot of this is working with the people, helping them to interpret and understand so that they can then make solutions and solve their problems. 
We're going to let that be video one about me, about the class. If you thought this was all you needed, it's not. You've got to make sure you watch all the videos so that we can talk about the different questions. And because that's a big part of what this class is.